Okay, as you approach your Rukas slit meter, you'll notice that it's an automatic gator slit meter by the motor head you see on the top and the two stems that raise and lower to adjust the flow. So to start your irrigation, you come to your pedestal. On your pedestal, each one is equipped with the combination lock. The combination is assigned by your ditch tender. So we'll enter the combination. Once you enter the combination and open up the pedestal, you have instructions for future reference here. They'll go through gate position, flow, and in Spanish and English. But th this is the control head of the Rubicon. You'll notice several buttons in the control head, the raise, the lower, the left to right button, the X, and the check mark. So to start irrigation, start irrigation by flow, press the right arrow, and enter the combination that's assigned by, by your ditch center. Once you enter your combination, you will come up with these three choices. What the choice is enter flow rate, stop irrigation, or remote mode. The two choices that you will use is enter flow rate or stop irrigation. So let's practice with enter flow rate. So you hit the check mark. It's going to ask you enter your flow rate. The last flow rate used was 2 CFS. Let's modify that. The way you move around on the screen is you use the right arrow to move the cursor to the right, left arrow to move the cursor to the left, the raise button to raise the numbers or to lower the numbers. So let's select 3 CFS by raising the number. And then once we're happy with that number, the OK is the check mark. You'll notice the screen comes up, update the flow rate to 3 CFS. Yes is the check mark, so let's confirm that. Once you enter that flow, in several moments, you'll notice the gate start to operate. You'll hear the noise of the motor cranking up, and you'll see the line start to move up. The gate will continue to operate, open and close and adjust, open and close to try to achieve that flow rate and maintain that flow rate for your irrigation. Since this is a practice session, let's go back to the pedestal. You'll notice one of the indicators that indicates your flow rate is gonna be here on top. The flow rate will continue to climb. The acre feet will increment the longer you irrigate. So those are the two items that, that, that will show you what and how much you're irrigating. But again, since this is a practice session, let's practice how to close it, even though we have not achieved the flow yet. So you'll start again at your control panel. You're gonna start with your right arrow. You're gonna enter the password assigned by your dish center and hit the OK button or the check mark. That'll take you to the menu screen you're gonna go down one. You'll notice you went down by the arrow next to the stop irrigation. You're gonna select yes. And it's gonna ask you warning, gate closed selected. Do you want to stop irrigation? Yes is the check mark. So we want to stop irrigation. And you'll notice the gate commence to stop. You can confirm the gate is closed when the black line is roughly at the same height as, as the, the black marker there. So you know your irrigation is complete and you know you've stopped. 